Welcome back to the channel today and I'm your host Coach Evans and today we're going to continue our series with Welcome to Baltimore. Today's subject, Travis Jones, uh, defense alignment from Kentucky. Roll the intro. If this is your first time to the channel, you're new to the channel, hit the like button. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you can be notified when these videos drop. But as you can see, you know, getting into Travis's film session, uh, went to UConn, Connecticut, uh, from New Haven, Connecticut, uh, 6'4", 325, and ran the 40 at 492 at 325 panels. Uh, he was a third round pick, pick number 12 from Baltimore, and still picks one, two, three, and four. I think he got a lot of value out of those guys, and, and Travis is no different. Let's get into the film. So getting to the film here and kind of, I want to kind of set the, the backstory. This guy plays about 80% of the snaps. He plays from 70 to 80% of Connecticut snaps. And he's the focus of the defense. He's by far the best player on defense. There is no, no linebacker you got his game plan for, no DB you got a game plan for. He is the guy. So keep in mind, he gets double teamed almost every play. But when he does it, he makes them pay. When he's out of the game, he makes the other team pay. So with that backdrop, with that statement, and knowing that now, let's get into the film. He's number 57, if I'm not mistaken. I'll show him on the screen. 57 right here. So in this case right here, he's going to be a 2-I. Maybe a 1. Got a solo block right here for 72. Splits it. Is inside. Now, doesn't make the doesn't make the play. Does not make the play. But disrupts the play. But it disrupts the play. Getting that gap right there. And and I and I really think he lost his rep. Because I think he was supposed to suppose that other gap and the guy turned on him. 72 got turned on him. But the fact that he realized, hey, I got hooked and I shouldn't have got hooked, I better get him, you know, just muck some stuff up. And that's what I like about it. Cause he, he hooked right there. Let me get inside and try to split this and just make some stuff happen. Now, granted, the guy gets out, though, you know, and that happens. But the fact is, he didn't just get hooked and stayed there. He, he improvised. He had a plane once he got hooked. Let's go to the second play. And I don't even remember how many plays I got. This is him here. Goal line situation for Clemson. You know, Clemson, pretty good team. I think I got Clemson and Houston. Those two games I got. Houston was ranked 24 when they played. And Clemson, they played Clemson early. I don't know if Clemson was still ranked at the time or not, but, you know, Clemson kind of fell off a little bit. But goal line play, this is what you want on a guy that's going to be playing one zero or nose. But nose is zero. Taking on 75. 75 has him out leveraged. Look at him starting to drive. He's lifting 75 up, pushing him backwards. Driving him backwards. Now, he drove him back enough to where he could just, you know, shed him and get in on the plate. Now, he can't even jump over the top. This is this is our guy right here. Make shed at this guy. I don't know why he on his knees. He look like Meg Stallion right there. But he shed at that guy. And now making a tackle on 21. Crazy. Crazy power. Now we get a better look right here. Head up nose. And when most people look at this kid, they think of, you know, a run stopper that can do, you know, a bunch of different stuff. I bet you didn't think he could pass rush, huh? Bet you didn't think that, huh? Bet you didn't think this guy could pass rush. Going against the guard. Bull rushes the guard. Swims him out the way. Clubs him out the way. And let's get some on his quarterback. Sweet move. Nah, just, it's chopped up right there, but look at it in real time. Watch how fast it happened in real time. Boom, boom. Get out of the way. That's some QB pressure in my book. That's a QB pressure in my book. Now, right here. Got him in the 2 eye, maybe one. Technique, that is. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, get pushed up the middle. Not, on, not only he ain't got to play first and second down. 
He can, he can stay in on third down and play play Z, play zero. Especially with that. Especially with that. Make the stand again. Hands on my knees, shaking to the thought stuff. You know that guy could get it like that. You thought he was just a run stuff. But you thought wrong, my friend. Interior pass rush, you definitely get with this kid. You definitely get with this kid. And it ain't one or two, you know, incidents that's out the blue. He gets after. Again, you see him pointed out right here with the arrow and with the purple mark. That's the same play. Pressure. That's QB pressure to me. All day, every day. All day, every day. That's a QB pressure. All right, next play. Got him right here. Definitely one technique right here. Definitely a one. Got the guard. More pass rush ability. <laughs> Another pressure. A lot of people thought he was all run game. He is not. All run game. That, that swim... And he probably he's gonna have to add another move. Definitely gonna have to add another move. But that that club swing, that's a powerful move. It's working for him right there, too. He's getting a lot of rush. Getting a lot of pass rush. And keep in mind, keep think about the backdrop. He's playing first, second, and third down. He's not coming out on third down. He's playing first, second, and third. He's playing 70 to 80 percent of the plays. And most people know these two guys right here, they probably get three, four, five plays most and come out. You know, at, at any level of football, high school, junior college, college, NFL, they play three, four, five plays and come out. He stays in the game until he's like dog tired. That's, that's the bull rush. So that's the second move. You, you, the first one, he had a little club, a little swim in a club. Now he just went straight bull rush the center. Understand leverage, press them out, dry your feet, try to turn your hips. It didn't work when he tried to turn his hips, but he still had enough leverage to keep going. That's another pressure in my book. That's another pressure in my book. All right, now we got him right here. Got the double team. <laughs> There's a reason I put a lot of pass plays on here. Because we all know what he can do in the run game. Double. Stay with it. All right. Now I see the quarterback got the ball. Now you've been we've been dancing for too long. It is time for you to go. Bye-bye. Now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Boom. Hands on my knees, shaking to the thought stuff. Why they on the ground, man? <laughs> he keep putting these guys on the ground during the play. Split it. Yeah, this is what we know he can do in a run game. This is, he's right here. This is what we know he can do in a run game. Taking on 74. So, so he can't double. He takes the outside of 74, so he can't double. Now, 55 decides to leave, and when 55 decides to leave, he's going to abuse the tapper. I mean, the guard. Get out of the way. That arm over was so quick. 55 comes off, throws 74, and look at that. Now, 21, you have nowhere to go. It should be almost like the sub zero. Get over here. Come here, son. Come here, son. All right, right here. Playing in two eye. Got, seven, got a double with the tackle in 74. Let me split that. He's already thrown 74 out of the way. Got his shoulder turn between 71. That's how you split the double team. I would rather him be lower, but I ain't mad that wasn't happened so far. I don't know if you can really see if we can see it. Trying to double. He takes, right now, he's in the process of taking 74 and throw him. Watch 74 shoulder get out the way. Then you're going to see a lot of white jersey. Look at that. Now you see all white jerseys. He's took 74 and thrown him. And he has that shoulder on the inside of 71. 
is losing down the tackle. That's all I got right here. Let's watch it live. Let's watch, let's watch the whole thing live. Keep in mind, that's all I got right here. Split it. Get in there. Get in on it. All right, straight nose right here. Straight nose over the center. Whoop the center, you know what? Up, oh, takes the goal. More pass rush. <laughs> look at his look at his feet on this. Just watch his feet. Don't look at the upper body. Just watch his feet, his footwork. Watch his feet. Boop, 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 boop. Crossbow. Let's do a 325 now. Let's do a 325. Ballerina feet. Look at all that. that mm, 325. One more time. Look at his feet. Forget what he's doing with his upper body. He don't give him the little stutter step like he a receiver to start with. Uh-uh. That didn't work. I'm, I'm out of position. I see the quarterback right there. I'm going to reverse it. Mm. And I really love this part. He's by the by the tap, by the the guard and uses this, off, this inside hand to kind of push himself through. Right in the quarterback face. So way more than just pass rush. Way more than just pass rush. He's all I got right here. I'm sorry. Way more than just a run stopper. You get pass rush with him. I said that wrong. Way more than a run stopper. You get interior pass rush with him. Now, he don't really get in on this, but watch him get inside of 57. He's right here. 54, I mean, not 57. Look how 54 is going backwards. Look at him blowing it up. And the only reason 54 regains, because he tries to reach. He tries to reach for the running back. That's the only, like when he hit that little reach, that's the only reason 54 regained. He tried to reach through there. But still, he made a muck. Made a muck of the play. So now everybody else can run. Made a muck of the play. Because that was designed to hit that hard. He's right there where it's supposed to hit right now. So he got now he got to try to bounce it. And look what he bounced into that. And he bouncing into that. And this guy outside. So they got protected strong on this side. And shit, he still almost missed the tackle. Look at my man. I'm about to body slam. <laughs> so, with that being said, where am I? With that being said, at 325, you're not just getting a guy that can stuff the run. You're getting a guy that can get you some interior pass rush, express, especially with that youth we have at edge now. He can get in the rotation with Pierce and Campbell and learn from those guys, uh, pick up techniques, get better to go along with his natural ability. And he was getting all this production with 75 to 80% of the snaps. And there are, like, if you go look at this tape, there are some plays where the ball is thrown or run outside, and he don't go get it. I un and it's understandable because he knows he's not coming out. So them, them balls outside the numbers, he don't just take off and run and, and sprint because he knows he got to stay in there and play. Because I was watching, I think, the Houston game, and he played and played and played, and then he was out for two snaps, and they broke off like a 60-yard touchdown right up the middle. So he had to play. So imagine him getting production on half those snaps. So say he goes from 65 snaps to 32. Imagine like what he'll be able to do as far as his stamina. Because I'm sure he's already got pretty good stamina playing all them plays at 325. And he's going to be behind Pierce. And I had him as the number two nose tackle behind Jordan Davis. You know, even though we can talk about Walker being an interior guy, but I'm just talking about straight nose that's going to play a lot of zero. And uh, I think we got a steal, man. I think we got a steal. Uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, taking the 13 to 15 minutes out of your day and watching this video. Thank you for all the Patreons. Thank you for all the Cash Apps. Thank you for all the... I forget it every time. PayPal. That too. I forget it. <laughs> appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Um, peace. <laughs> We'll <laughs> be